In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Magic Wand to speed up the embroidery creation process. To use Magic Wand, you should have fairly clean art, preferably vector art. We're going to open up a nice little clean EMF file, which is a vector file. Now, to digitize with Magic Wand, we simply select the Magic Wand tool from the left side of the screen. Select the filling method that you would like to use. Depending on the level of your software, you may not have all the different fill methods that you see here. But normal fill is what we're going to use to create the gold part of the seagull's head. We simply take the mouse on any area and we click. And the system will find vector lines that were used to create that object. Right click and select stitch it. As you can see, the program color matched the embroidery to the image. Click. We can adjust the stitch angle if we'd like, or the start and end points. Stitch it and click. And we're going to end over here. Stitch it. Select the last area and stitch it. If we zoom in on the design we can see that we don't have any uh, underlay or things like that. We can easily apply parameters to this through the select mode. We can select everything like that and we can then go to change parameters and we can set things like fill underlay on. And now if we look, we have fill and lay throughout the design. And that's how we create a design with Magic Wand. Although vector images will produce the best possible quality with Magic Wand, you don't always have a vector image available. The advantage of using a vector is if it was drawn for embroidery, you will have built-in overlap in your image. Notice the vector lines in this image. The vector lines for the undercolor extended beyond. This gives us built-in overlap. Since a bitmap image doesn't have any vector data, we have to rely on the color separation between colors to provide the area for the system to trace. This is why when using a bitmap image, the quality of the image is critical. We're going to import a bitmap representation of this same image. While importing a vector, you have the option of converting it to bitmap on the fly. Notice in this image, the edges are not quite as clean as they were in the vector. However, this is still a very clean bitmap image and we can easily use it for Magic Wand. Select Magic Wand and simply click on the image. As you can see, the system traced directly on the outline. There is no overlap built in. We can correct that later with an additional parameter. We're going to stitch it and then I'm just going to go through and I'm going to finish this entire design. Now, if we hide the image, we can see the stitches just meet in these areas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can expand these outlines to cover these areas. We're going to select Edit. We're going to click on the color we want. Right-click and open up the embroidery settings. Stretch and then shift outlines. What shift outlines does is it will actually grow this block or shrink this block depending on what your needs are. In this case I want to grow this block by about one and a half millimeters on both sides. Click apply and you see I have built-in overlap on all my edges. Apply this 
same parameter, maybe only one millimeter for the smaller areas. And you can see virtually no difference between the two designs that I created from vector or from bitmap.